Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel. My name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how to set up a TX admin Redim dedicated server with warp core on your Windows VPS. So let's get started. First, I will show you how to get a Windows VPS server. If you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure a server to your liking. You can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally, select the payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on this voucher and typing redm-windows. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here create an administrator password that you will need to use in order to log in via remote desktop app. After that, click on save. Now copy your server's IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the login settings tab, paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrated by default. Now click connect and type the password which is the one you defined earlier. And click OK. After successfully connecting to the machine, you will need to download the latest CFX artifacts, HDSQL and XAMPP. All free download links can be found in the video description, so simply copy and paste them into the Google search bar and download them. XAMPP and HDSQL are needed to create a database for your Redem server. After downloading everything, close Google Chrome and create a folder on your desktop. You can name it however you like, for example, I will call it Redem Server. Now open File Explorer, go to the Downloads folder, open the server artifacts and drag and drop the contents of it into the folder you created earlier. Now install XAMPP and HDSQL. We will get back to them later in the video, so for now open the folder where you extracted the artifacts, scroll down until you see fxserver.exe and double click on it. A console will appear and then you automatically be taken to the txadmin setup page. Click on link account and authorize txadmin with your cfx account. You will now need to create a backup password. After you do that, click on save. Here, click on next. Create a server name to your liking and once again, click on next. Now select the popular template option and click on warp. You can now select the path for where the data will go. It is not recommended to change the path so simply click on save and go to recipe deployer. Now if you want, you can make changes to the recipe. I will leave it as it is so scroll down and click on next. Here you will need to put in your license key. To do so, click on key master and log in with your CFX account. Here simply click on register a new server. In the display field, create a name of your choice. In the IP field, simply copy and paste the IP to your server which can be found in your ZAP interface. Now select the server type as VPS and type ZAP hosting in the providers field and click on generate. You will automatically be taken to a new page where you can find the key, so simply copy and paste it in in the TX admin setup page. Now before clicking on run recipe you have to create a database. To do so, open ZAMP that you have installed earlier and just click on start MySQL to create the database. After that, go back to the setup and click on Run Recipe. After it finishes, feel free to change the config file to your liking and click on Save and Run. You have now successfully created a Redem server with txadmin and warp. But before joining the server, you have to unlock the ports. To do so, stop your server and in the window, search for Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and click on it. Navigate to Inbound Rules and click on New Rule. Click on Port, then Next. Here, make sure the CP is selected and write the exact numbers as me. 30120 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected, here all the boxes must be checked, in this field create whatever name you like and click on finish. Now repeat the same process, but this time change it from TCP to UDP. After you do it, navigate to Outbound Rules and click on New Rule, then Port. Here select UDP and write 30110, click on next and make sure to select the option allow the connection. Then click on next, create a name and finish. Now you need to repeat the same process as before, but this time change the port to 30130. <laughs> 
after you unlock all the ports, start your server and let's try to join. Launch your demo on your PC. Click on play and in the search bar search for your server, then select it and click on connect. And as you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own Redem server and if you want to open up TXAdmin, simply type TXAdmin command in the chat. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.